Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain connector simulation in Prega. Let us take a scenario called uh, if we are designing a bank application and the bank application is consist of a debit card approval. If a person and uh, ask for the debit card approval and enter the details based on her salary or his or her salary, uh, the debit card type and the limit should be automatically populated by the third party service. But the problem here is there is no third party server available. There is no external server available. So we have to simulate the data. By simulation means giving the dummy data to the application. We have to simulate the connector. Uh, in this video, I am doing SOAP connector simulation. Let's go to the Pega Dev Studio. Here I am taking a card details case type. Just a second, I am saving run it. If the person enter their salary, if the person enter their salary, uh, we write a logic. Um, if the person, if the salary is less than ten thousand, if the salary is less than ten thousand, uh, and save it, the card type should be domestic and limit should be fifty thousand. It will automatically populated from the external source. But in this situation, we don't have any external source. That way, we are using soap connector simulation. Let's start the process. Uh, just go to the data type. We should create a data type called card details and card details just go to the advanced section just click on this and it will expand and I'm creating under the integration class should create in the uh, data class uh, but in the scenario I'm creating in the integration class because I'm doing the integration so each concept would be separate separate layers the work is under the work class data is under data class and integration under the integration class that's why i'm taking uh, this under the integration class you can do in uh, data class also don't worry same process will in the step also okay then i am adding a field like salary and salary I am giving submit and another and card limit card limit and submit and another another one is card type you can change the card type as type and drop down and pick list I am is for the demo video I am taking the text you can do much more customization compared to me this for the demo video just explanation purpose i am taking the random values random field names just click on save and go to records and go to configure here i am taking a salary as a primary key or you can if you don't want to sell as a primary key you can give the global id or you can add another field like id and submitting here you can save and go to records why because i want the data page that's why i'm creating the records so when we when we going to create records it's ask for a use key so i'm giving id as a use key submit and click on close then there is a three data pages auto populated one is page another one is list and last one saveable data page just go to this class in the hyphen in hyphen card details class then expand the data model you can observe there is a three pages are created so i want this page because I only retrieve one person details, that's why I'm using a page structure. Okay, uh, just click on the simulate data source and just right click on this class and create a integration connector. I'm creating SOAP. Basically, SOAP is little bit complex uh, compared to REST because REST they didn't ask any URLs and methods creating get card details and it is under the integration class just create and open 
if you want to know about the rest connector simulation there is a video on my channel just go through it and we should give the method name get and we should give the service name you should randomly give any service name ht tps slash uh, card dot com and just click on save why because it asking for these two requirements we didn't give two it will showing error uh, specify the method and should with the endpoint url and go to the simulations button just click on the simulation and just click on this plus button and you should give activity get card d i am giving get card details d just click on this crosser icon it will open the activity so the activity is under the integration class power and one hyphen demo in card details and just click on create and open it will create an activity and in this method apply data transform i am using data transform logic you can go through any data table decision table decision tree anywhere i am giving a transform here ET card data transform card details card D and just click on this cross and icon it will open a rule called error transform it is under the integration class create and open and the logic should be I am giving action when and just click on this gear icon before going to it we should pass a parameter here because we are giving a dynamic value right and the salary salary and go to the settings and go to browse option properties expand expand this parameter page and just click on the salary it will automatically add is equal to is equal to uh, or uh, less than or equal to 10,000 it's 10,000 correct uh, yeah it's 10,000 less than or equal to 10,000 the card type should be means the card limit and the card type card type card limit is 50,000 yeah it's 50,000 and card type domestic and and their logic call if the salary is greater than ten thousand and less than fifty thousand copy and just right click on it paste below if the salary is greater than and if the salary is greater than or equal to ten thousand uh, no greater than or equal to fifty thousand just click on this gear icon for the better logic implementation and and go to this browser expand parameter dot salary it search for the two condition one for salary is greater than ten thousand one greater than fifty thousand three and the one is greater than or equal to ten thousand. Yeah, it's right. One is uh, salary is greater than or equal to ten thousand. Another one is uh, less than or equal to. If the salary is less than or equal to fifty thousand, and click on submit. It's just a basic logic. You can write your own logic, and the card limit should be. One lakh, one two three, and card type should be international, and just click on save. The rule gets saved. Uh, just go to the parameters, copy this parameter, 
is the parameter in activity and here check the checkbox as pass current parameter and click on save then go to this connector rule and click on submit and click on save here there is no simulation available after we are saving the rule so you can observe there is a one active simulation is available here and saving okay the rule gets saved and the integration rule is saved and get back to the page list <coughs> this page list and scroll down you have to check this checkbox simulate data source and the source is activity and you copy this activity name copy this activity name or uh, copy this id and paste here and click on save and you have to pass the parameters click on these parameters and enable the checkbox pass the current parameters then we successfully simulated a soap integration rule and we connected to the data page then i have to fetch this data or invoke these details in the cache type go to the cache type class i'm going to cache type class that is work hyphen is work hyphen card type card details just right click on this class and go to create data model property okay <clears throat> create data model <clears throat> i don't want this uh, i want to create data model property so property name is card details our details and it's on the work class the property is created create and open and the property type should be single page because we are retrieving the data from the page so we have to give the uh, page definition uh, we have to observe that uh, where is the page the page is under the integration class where is the integration class the integration class is pavan Pavan <clears throat> in card details. Just refer to this data page and click on down arrow. It will automatically display if the page available in this class. Then we are configured and we are simulated this page. You have to click this page and it asks for your parameter. Then expand this data model. I already created a separate property in the work class that is called salary. At the beginning, I show you the case type that's called salary, and we have put dot salary and just click on save and go to this action and mark as relevant this rule and go to the case type. What's the case type card details? What is our requirement when the user enters their salary less than 10,000? The card type is domestic and the card limit should be 50,000. If the user enter the uh, salary greater than 10,000 and less than 50,000, the card type should be international and the limit should be one lakh. So, check the logic. Just open and first of all, you need to configure the so configure the property. So, search for that property that is card details just click on the card details and add it and i am creating a separate section called card underscore details just create so basically in this i want the two main fields that is one is card limit 
another one is card type i don't want this id and the salary just click on submit after you can save it just save and run your case type just observe what i am doing i am entering the salary uh, the salary is 5000 it is less than 10000 then after i am saving it then the card limit is 50000 and the card type card type is domestic once go through the data transform and here's the logic if the param dot salary param dot salary means we entered the salary is less than 10000 and the card limit should be 50000 and the card type should be domestic if i enter the value uh, means 15000 let's check and the value 15000 thousand the value is card limit if i try another value that is i should type thirty thousand type thirty thousand one two three just click on save yeah and the card limit should be one the limit is one like and the card type is international so that's all for this video guys this is about so connector simulation in pega if you have any doubts please comment below a small request for my side if you like my videos and like my explanation please like share to your pegamates and subscribe to my channel for more like these videos and uh, if you have any doubts please comment below i will explain you yeah bye bye